Hello everyone, in this video I am going to give a brief introduction to C language. So, C is a programming language. C is a programming language. Okay. So, what is meant by a programming? Programming is a task of software development. Task of software development. What is meant by task of software development? Nothing but coding the software. Okay. Coding the software is nothing but a programming. Programming language means the language which is used to write programs is called as a programming language. Okay. Program is nothing but set of instructions. Suppose if you are using any language to write all these set of instructions, then that is called as a programming language. Okay. So, generally people use uh, um, Hindi, Telugu, English like that uh, several languages to communicate among them. Like that if you want to communicate with the computer, so through programming languages it is possible to communicate with the computer. Okay. So, we have several programming languages like C, C++, Java, like that we have several programming languages. Right. So, which programming language we have to choose that depends upon our requirement. Okay. So, C is a programming language. So, who introduced this C language? Okay. C was developed by Dennis M. Ritchie. Dennis M. Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie, he introduced the C language in the year 1972. Okay. Dennis M. Ritchie, he introduced the C language in the year 1972 at A.T. and T. Bell Laboratories. Okay. At A.T. and T. Bell Laboratories. It is a research center located in USA. So, there he introduced this C language. He developed this C language. Okay. So, this C language, it was evolved from Two, from two programming languages, the C language was evolved. So, what are those two programming languages means BCPL and B language. Okay. So, from these two programming languages, C language came into existence. Okay. So, C is evolved from two programming languages. What are those BCPL and B language? Okay. So, this BCPL, it was introduced by Martin Richards okay, and B language was introduced by Ken Thompson. Okay. So, BCPL was introduced by Martin Richards and B language was introduced by Ken Thompson. So, C is evolved from these two programming languages BCPL and B language. Okay. So, Dennis Ritchie introduced the C language, right? So, he used the concepts of BCPL and B language, okay? He used the concepts of these two language and he added to that language, he had, he added some powerful features, some new features and also he added some data typing concepts to the, to these two languages and he named the new language as a C language. So, before C language, we have some programming languages like COBOL, Fortran, okay. Like this, we have some programming languages. So, COBOL means it stands for Common Business Oriented Language. Common Business Oriented Language is the full form for uh, COBOL. So, this language is meant for only business applications. COBOL is used only for business applications. Similarly, Fortran. Fortran stands for formula translation. Fortran stands for formula translation and this is meant for only scientific applications. Okay. So, as an user, okay, we have to develop so many applications. We have to develop so many applications. Uh, it is not possible for the user to confine uh, to some applications only like business applications, scientific applications like that we can't confine. We have to develop all applications as a user, right? So, to overcome this, okay, 
we need a, a general purpose programming language general purpose means uh, these are called as uh, this cobol and photon these are called as a uh, specified programming languages so that means uh, for specific uh, applications only we can use this programming languages okay but it is not possible as a user to use all these uh, specific programming languages because uh, as a user we have to develop so many pro so many applications okay so for all applications we have to learn for each and every application we have to learn separate programming language which is not possible for an user to learn all these programming languages okay so we need a general purpose programming language what is meant by a general purpose general purpose means for all applications we can use that programming language that language is called as a general purpose programming language okay so C language C is said to be a general purpose programming language okay C is a general purpose programming language general purpose means it is not confined to specific application okay by using C language we can develop almost all applications we can use this C language okay that's why C is said to be a general purpose programming language C is said to be a general purpose programming language okay so who introduced c language dennis riche dennis m riche he introduced c language so he introduced the c language to develop the unix operating system okay dennis riche introduced c language to develop the unix operating system so this c language is a one of the most widely used mostly used programming languages okay c is said to be one of the mostly used programming language okay and this c language is well suited for scientific and business applications for all applications we can use this c language but it is mostly used for scientific and business applications okay c is said to be a general purpose programming language okay developed by dennis riche to develop the unix operating system okay it is one of the one of the most used programming languages okay well suited for scientific and business applications well suited for scientific and business applications okay so c is said to be the most fundamental and foundation programming languages for the beginners if they want to start any programming languages c is said to be the fundamental programming language it creates a best foundation okay it is said to be a best fundamental and foundation programming languages for the beginners so after c we have several programming languages right like c++ c java like c++ java like that several programming languages are there so all these programming languages they have incorporated the syntax and many many features of this c language okay so uh, several programming languages like c++ c sharp java javascript all these they have incorporated the syntax and many features of the c language okay so uh, most parts of the many parts of the operating systems many parts of the operating systems like windows unix linux or still they are writing in c languages only okay so c is said to be a general purpose programming language c is said to be a general purpose programming language okay so that's about the introduction to c language so next uh, let's see about the characteristics of c language so coming to characteristics of c language so the first one is c is said to be the popular programming language c is a popular language due to its rich set of inbuilt functions due to its rich set of inbuilt functions inbuilt functions are nothing but predefined functions predefined functions 
ok. So, predefined functions means directly we can use those functions ok, those are just like readymades, we can directly use those functions ok. So, several inbuilt functions like printf, scanf ok, like this we have several inbuilt functions in C language. So, due to these inbuilt functions, rich set of inbuilt functions, C is said to be a popular language ok. Second one is, so the programs which are written in C language ok, they are very efficient and fast. Programs written in C language are efficient and fast ok. So, why these programs are efficient and fast means due to its variety of data types, we have several data types in C language ok. We will learn each and every data type in detail ok. So, due to its rich variety of data types and powerful operators, the programs which are written in C are efficient and fast ok. That is the second characteristics of uh, C language. Programs are efficient and fast ok. So, programs can run efficiently and faster in C, C language because of its variety of data types and powerful operators ok. Next third one is C is a portable language. C program written on one computer can run on another computer without any manipulations, without any modifications that is called as a portability. C is a portable language ok. So, next one is C is a flexible language. Flexible means what is meant by flexibility? Flexibility means it is easy to understand, easy to read, easy to develop that is called as a flexibility. Flexibility is nothing but user friendly. So, C is a user friendly language. User friendly means it is easy for the user to understand ok and to develop that is called as a flexibility. So, C is said to be a flexible programming language ok. And next feature is a next characteristic is a C is a structured programming language. C is a structured programming language. So, here here we will follow some structure ok and here we will use uh, a functions concept. Functions means functions means it will divide the large program into several modules ok. Structured programming language in which C is a structured programming language in which a program is divided into small modules ok. So, because of this modularity structure ok, if you divide a big problem into small problem, it is easy to understand that problem right, it is easy to debug that problem, it is easy to test that problem, it is easy to maintain that problem ok. So, C is a structured programming language. Next one is C has an ability to extend itself. C has an ability to extend itself ok. As I already told here we will use uh, some pro some functions ok. So, according to the user requirement a user can add his own functions, user defined functions, his own functions means whatever may be the functions which are defined by the user those are called as user defined functions. So, according to the user requirement, he can add his own functions to the main C program ok. That nature is called as extensibility, that nature is called as extensibility. So, C has an ability to extend itself according to the user requirement. So, these are the main characteristics of C language ok. What are those? C is a powerful language, it is a most popular language because of its rich set of inbuilt functions. Inbuilt functions are nothing but a predefined functions ok. So, some of the examples are printf, scanf ok. Print the file, scan, scan means read the file ok. Printf and scanf stands for uh, in these are two inbuilt functions ok which we will use in each and every program. So, these are called as inbuilt functions ok. So, and the various inbuilt functions are there. These are these two functions we will use in each and 
every program that is why I have specified these two as an examples for inbuilt functions here ok. So, inbuilt functions are nothing but ready mates ok we can use them directly we, we are not going to write any code how to work that ok. If any if any function if you are using directly they are called as inbuilt functions ok. C is said to be a popular language and most powerful language because of its rich set of inbuilt functions. Next second one is programs written in C are uh, can run very efficient and faster. Programs written in C can run very efficient and faster due to its uh, variety of data types and uh, powerful operators. Okay. Next one is uh, C is a portable language. Programs written in C, uh, pro programs written in C can run on another, another computer. Programs written in one computer can run on another computer without any modifications programs C programs written on one computer can run on another computer without any modifications that nature is called as a portability ok. Next one is a flexible language that means it is easy to understand. Next is it is a structured programming language in which a program is divided into several modules because of this modularity nature what is the main advantage it is easy to understand easy to debug easy to test and easy to maintain ok. So, that is a structured programming language. Next C has an ability to extend itself that means whenever the user according to his requirement the user can add his own functions ok. His own functions he can add according to his requirement that is called as extensibility that is the ability to extend itself ok. C programming has an ability to extend itself that means the user can add his own functions according to his requirement to the main C program that is called as ability to extend itself ok. So, these are the main characteristics of C language ok. Next video I am going to explain about tokens of C ok. Tokens in C language I am going to explain in the next video. Thank you.